Hello and welcome to Chess Please. My name is Andy and today I'm going to be talking to you about a tactical operation that will help you win a lot of your games. This operation goes by many different names in many different lands. In Germany it is Zwischenzug, in Italy it's Intermezzo, in English it is an in-between move or an intermediate move and in Irish it is an Idervugge. Idervugge. Hasn't been defined until just now but yeah, Idervugge, in-between move. So this is whereby instead of playing a move that is maybe expected or pending or urgent for you to play, you take the time to find a different move with tempo, with a greater urgency or a greater threat that buys you time and improves your position before you play that initial pending or urgent move. All sounds very weird talking about it, so let's jump into three simple puzzles to clarify the concept. So the first one we're going to look at is a very rudimentary case of an intermezzo or intermediate move, but one of the most common, to be honest, where you have a bishop attacking the queen in here, so nicely defended by this knight as well. So the obvious or the waiting or urgent move that we need to play is to get our queen safe, move our queen out of danger, um, either here or I think that's actually the only safe square. So rather than moving there, we can actually use an intermediate move or either voga to improve our position. Now we mentioned that the knight is what's providing defense here. So very simply, we're going to take this knight here and very crucially taking this knight comes with check. So that's the tempo. That's the time that we've bought that they have to respond to first. And when they do take that time taking with the queen, we can now take this bishop completely free. Our second one, a little bit trickier, so just to take this back a piece. Um, we have the bishop attacking our queen. Now the queen can take here, but uh, we have a hanging rook there on the back rank. And then we have a queen that can theoretically come back here to block, but we've lost a rook there. So not great. Um, so what can we do instead of this? So what we have here is a lovely little in-between move, or either voga, and that is rook to d8, getting itself out of danger in the meantime and buying time with that check. And now we can take this bishop with a very clean conscience because we have not left our king high and dry in his gaff. So taking a look now at our final Idzervoga puzzle where we have a nice little attack getting set up here but we just wanna put the flourish on with a wee intermezzo. So we wanna set up a nice attack on the queen here. So rook comes across to e8 and that sets us up for c5. So this puts a lot of pressure on the queen but also threatens mate in here. So that's just a that's just a very nice move. It just sets up uh, some mate threats that they have to respond to but in White's case, they have the resource F3, which not only attacks our queen, stops the battery, um, well, it does do those two things. Um, so rather than the mate threat that we might have had, so you're thinking now, okay, well, the queen is on priest or ready to be taken, but what can we do in the meantime that might also improve what we're, what we're gonna get out of this exchange? Well, you can see that we can actually take this bishop with check and in that case we're going to win a bishop and a queen for just a queen rather than a simple trade where if we go here now they'll just take back and even steven we win a pawn that's fine um but no we take the bishop first rook takes we take the queen and we get a piece and a queen instead of just a queen so hopefully that all makes sense in terms of intermezzos and all of the words we use today also check out this cool light book that i have ah mischief managed That's all from me, folks. Hope you have a lovely one. Feel free to subscribe and stick around if you like, or if not, have a wonderful day. Take it easy.